Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to note down all the objectives question that had appeared in the university question paper uh, in the year April 23, October 22, October 19 and April 19 under the subject strategic financial management. Now, whatever objective questions were there, that is question number 1A and 1B, all those have been solved in these of these four papers. Okay, so one by one, we'll see in each year what were the objectives asked. Again, what were the correct answers? The very first one was April 23. Uh, okay, under that, we had first question was based on MCQ. So I'll just read out that. First, Okay, choose correct alternative first. Under Walter dividend policy, if R is less than K, the firm should have dash payout. The answer is 100% dividend payout. Dash is a situation where a constraint or a budget is placed on the total size of the capital expend expenditure during a particular period. The answer is capital rationing. The relationship between dividend per share and earning per share is dash, that is dividend payout ratio. Next, PI of a project is the ratio of present value of inflow to initial cost. Uh, fifth one, dash represents those funds which are required to manage day-to-day -day business operation. That's working capital. Okay, so these are the first five MCQs. I can read it and then take a screenshot of this. Okay, next, the next five were Dash is a schematic representation of several decisions followed by different chances of the occurrence. The answer was decision tree. Next, net profit for calculation of EVA is NOPAD. If a profit making company is absorbed into a loss making company, then this is the case of Dash. It's called reverse merger. In case of substandard asset, which is unsecure, the provision of MPA should be made at 100%. And which among the following is a short term? source of uh, working capital finance, the answer was all of the above. Okay, so these were the 10 MCQ which had been asked in April 23 question paper. You can go through once and then take a screenshot of this. Okay, along with this, the next one was question number 1B, which was state whether the statement are true or false. Okay, so these are the 10 true or false statements along with the answer. So I can go through once and then take a screenshot of it. Okay, along with the, these were the questions that I had asked in April 23. The next is October 2022 paper. Under that, the first five MCQs, uh, the highlighted the, the highlighted words are the answers. Okay, um, these are the questions. So you can go through it once and then take a screenshot of it.
Okay, now the next five. These are the next five questions along with the answers. Okay, you can go through it once and then take a screenshot of it. Okay, along with this, the next one was uh, true or false. So here are the questions along with the answers. I can go through it once and then take a screenshot of it. Okay, next is April 2019. The first one was based on MCQs. So these are the MCQs. The first five MCQs along with the answer, you can take, uh, you can go through and take a screenshot of it. Okay, these are the next five. Okay, now next was uh, the question based on true or false. Again, I can go through once and then take the screenshot of them along with the answer. Okay, the next one was October 2019. Okay, these were the 10 MCQs along with the answers. I can read it once and then take a screenshot of that.
Okay, along with that, these were the, you know, the next question along with uh, two of us, along with the answers, you can read it and take a screenshot of it. Okay, so these were the various uh, question papers along with the objectives and the answers. I hope everyone have noted it down and taken a screenshot of that. So with that, we will be ending this video here. Thank you.